bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Apostle Peter Daniel, I am speaking from Nigeria. You are watching me in Heaven and Air Life program, the one we used to do every Monday to Friday, every Monday to Friday, every Monday to Friday, where the Lord reveals and uh, reveal the secrets of the darkness and the Christ secrets of the kingdom, where the believers are saved, you know, where, where people receive the raw truth of God. I pray the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. I have a message to tell you. This message might look very surprised. It's not something you can just overlook. It's very, it's very important. It's something you have to listen to and, uh, and uh, listen attentively. Please, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the eternal rock of age, we want to bless your name because you are faithful. We want to thank you because you never fail. Be glorified and be exalted in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our God. We pray, O oh Lord, that as we are going into your work, you will release your power, you will release your anointing, you will release your spirit, you will give us a grace to go more in the spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will give us a insight to understand and to see the things of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. You will help us and you will give us a power, you will, you will open our eyes to understand the mystery of your work, the mystery of the kingdom in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father because you are faithful in jesus powerful name we pray amen the lord bless you all in the mighty name of jesus your jesus christ please those who are looking at me right now i will like you to please listen attentively it is a very 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 important uh, message a very short message but very important short but very important the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. About some weeks ago, there is a message that came to me in the car. This is a message I want to talk about directly the message of uh, 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 Theophilus Sunday. That's the message God is giving me right now. Not only him, people like him. I will explain to you why I say so. Yeah, I want you to understand that I am not trying to attack anyone, but I'm trying to tell you what God told me. About some weeks ago, I was, uh, you know, I just feel like, uh, let me let me list you to some of his sons, you know, what they call his sons. That was where he was speaking in tongues, singing and stuff and that. So as I was listening to it, the Spirit of God begin to wrestle in my heart, like it begin to disturb my heart and my spirit, that I should stop that song immediately. So I begin to wonder that what is God trying to say? That will keep on, even though after I have stopped it, I begin to go more in the spirit. You know, I begin to hear more in the spirit. That thing keep on disturbing me. He begin to try to, you know, he wanted to speak to me. So I look for a very pleased, quiet place to listen to him more about uh, what he's trying to say. Then God restricted me immediately that I should stop listening to all the shant, not only theophilosophy, but somebody speaking in tongue shant, maybe can you call it a kadush or something like that. He said, he, he said, he tell me some secrets that I will not be, I might not be able to share everything, but I will give you a clue of what God told me about this kind of uh, uh, this kind of things, which I want to warn the Christians all over, so that you yourself will not find yourself in hellfire. The Lord told me something because I myself I love listening to Theophil of Sunday, and uh, don't forget that I did a video clip not quite long about uh, Theophil of Sunday and TUC and so, so, something like that. Who are, like that so and i give them the warning god gave them the warning and i i say it in a video like this so god was is also telling me now another thing entirely it's not that i'm coming against them no but the lord gave me a warning and he asked me to tell all the christian all over the world to listen to these things 
you the people that you love are playing the chant of uh, your philosophy Sunday and the chant of uh, of uh, this uh, uh, all the, all of them like that all those people that you should do chant of stuff and you were using it to pray he said you are attracting another realm not his own realm another forces from another realm into your life you might not understand what I'm saying but I pray that God will open your eyes to understand the deep thing of what God is trying to show here. You that will be listening to the child, most of the child, I'm not mentioning name this time. I'm not saying it's still Philo Sunday and I'm not mentioning name. Most of these chants are from demonic. And you will be listening to it to increase yourself. One of the things to but I, I, I asked God, so I asked God, I said, but Lord, there are some Christians who are listening to this chant and as they listen to it, spiritually, they are, they are growing in the spirit. Some people are praying, in fact, they are having the machines prayer, you know. The Lord said to me, he said, most of the people that are using it to pray, he said, I should share their life. The moment they are using it to pray, next day, they will not have the ability to pray. Upper day, they will have ability to pray. He said it's just like fire, like they are, they, are, they are feeling cold and they are feeling hot. Look warmness. He said that there is a power that is entering them. He said not only that, he said they will be backsliding. He said arrow are entering their life the more they are hearing this, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, shout. So this is what I want to tell you. Don't base your own prayer in somebody's own sound. After you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, why can't you yourself have your the way you talk to God? Is it compulsory you have to listen to somebody's heart? Somebody speaking in tongue before you can pray. You are not taking it as an access. If you don't listen to that man, you will not have the, the file of prayer. These are total wrongs in the house of God. It's totally wrong. It's not supposed to be. It is now how God created and what us to be. Must you listen to somebody's hand before you pray? So you begin to rest with you to pray. This is totally wrong. Most of these peoples are into courtesans. Using the name of Jesus Christ to cover themselves. Speaking the tongues that you did not understand. Don't forget that not all tongues came from God. They are satanic tongues. They are demonic tongues too. I remember the times I used to go much into deliverance. They will be calling me, a oh, man of God, please come and do deliver for this sister. Come and do deliver for this sister. I will, I will, pray, I will be praying to some sister. When they get to the some say they they will begin to uh, do, I'm not saying that it's all people. There are some de uh, uh, baptism speaking in tongue. There are some demonic one. They will be manifesting demon like this. And they will be speaking in tongue. Yeah. And they are demonic. And they will be speaking in tongues. There are some people that when you lay hands on them, they receive the bands of the Holy Spirit. That one is different. Demonic one, they will be talking to you in tongues. But that manifestation, you will know it's the demon something. Demonic something, you will know. They will be manifesting demon with another voice entirely. So what I'm trying to say is that you have to be very, very, very careful. Not all things are made for God. No wonder God is giving me a message. He said, the devil has already trapped the whole world. I said, Lord, what do you mean? He said, all the whole world is already inside the devil. I said, what do you mean? It will be so real. That is why your Christianity life is not normal. It's always not normal. The more you are praying, the more it looks as if you are far from God. Please stop using somebody's hand. I don't say you cannot use uh, songs, Christian song to 
you know, you can listen to Sweet Nelson and the process to pray. But shant, Maraba koko mene matos ya, mena kome le toko pene to. See, they will put in put it, you have been listening to it, speaking your own tongues. You are entering into a covenant you did not know. The Lord gave me this warning seriously. I was so surprised. I was like, my mind is not even there. Seriously speaking, because I, I do use it before to pray sometimes. Not because I don't have the ability to pray, but sometimes it's, 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 it moves you to pray more. So God told me, he said, it's a demonic thing you have caused into your life. She has to warn the children so that you will not find your path. So that the devil will not claim your soul that you are a children. Why you are telling that I ah, am ah, your children? He said, you have, you have, you have been into in, in our courtes for a long time. So that you will not become a victim. You will not be in courtes. You will not be, you, you, you will not be counted as the children of the devil unknowingly. Please and please. It's a warning to all the Christians. It's, I'm not talking about the only love only, only, but all these pastors of, that are using shant and that shant is all, 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 all over in the, in the internet. It's, it's, it's wrong. Where do you see that it is written in the Bible like that? Did the apostles use shant? Did he do any shant? Did Jesus Christ use any shant? Why are you all using shant? Is it, is, is it biblical? To be used to somebody speaking in tongue. You don't even know where the person is baptized. You don't know the beginning of that person. You don't know where, you don't know who anointed him. I got to know later that I, I, uh, that TV Joshua is the one that anointed uh, uh, Joshua Simon. Simon. That TV Joshua is the one that anointed him. You just, you just have to be very careful. Very, 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 very careful. Don't you just go into the another uh, grave. You don't know the kind of realm you are entering. Just want to speak in tongue, want to pray, want to do this thing. Just begin to enter realm, realms. Many of, many of you, your spiritual life has been captivated. Like, like, like they are in capsule, they are captured them. They are in bondage for a long time, they don't know. That's why many Christians will not make it to help. Stop tapping into somebody's uh, uh, shant or speak to this thing. They will say, oh, you can tap into the anointing. Uh, which anointing do you want to tap into? Is your anointing that is from God? It's not our anointing. The devil himself, the people, the devil, the pastor, the devil anointed, they are much, they are much, much, much than the one God anointed physically. I'm telling you the truth. Not all the pastors you see on social media, not all the pastors you see that they are speaking knowledge uh, word of God that are all anointed from God. Some of them, they receive their own wisdom from the devil. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruit, not by the word of their mouth, by their fruit. Because the word of their mouth can be sugarcoated and deceive you sometimes. It might look real. It might look reality. It might look exactly like the way God wants it. But the truth is that it's not the way. We are deceiving people. Only God knows his people. Please be careful, please. Stop using demonic chants. I don't know who would even bring that in. When the, the when the devil is the, the people of this uh, occult people are using chant incantation. Because incantation is the one that's short to chant. They are using it as a point of uh, you know communication in the in, you know uh, going into the realm of tapping into the demonic things. I don't know who bring the idea of saying that speaking in tongues is sad again. Sand. Sand. Again. Ah. And it's for this one, sand. Which one is sand there? Speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues. Which one is sand? Which one is. There, you want to be sand. You want to go to the realm. Which realm? There are many realms. I've went, I went, I've went second effort to see realms myself. I see them that I, I begin to, ah, I begin to say, ah, what, which one is this? I see them, different realm. 
in the place of the devil. Are you telling me? God took me to second level. I see what is happening there. I see how Satan is manifesting there. I see the realm of Catholic souls. You see that they see Mary crying blood. It's all those things are demonic somethings. Be careful, please. So that you don't lose your soul and go to hell. Many of you are initiate, initiated into the kingdom of darkness because of all this, all this nonsense sound. Can't you pray on your own? Must you, pray, must, must you build your own prayer on somebody's own prayer? Answer me. Must you build some, your own prayer on somebody's own prayer? Must you pray on somebody's own speaking in tongues? Do you have your own? Are you not baptized? If you're not baptized, go and pray and ask God to baptize you. Is it compulsory? Ah, Monsieur, see, because I know the man of God, God is using. Do you know his us? Now, man of God, I owe you, man of God. Ah, ah. be careful, please. I'm begging you to know God. Be careful. Be careful. Even some holiness past yourself. Some of them are in courtes. All these things, we know them. God has reviewed them. We know what Fumilayo is doing. I know what God told me about Fumilayo. Mommy Dio. Yes. But do let me talk about it. Be careful, please. I'm begging you in the name of God. Be careful. Before you follow any man of God, pray first. I'm not trying to destroy anybody. I'm, I, I, I'm a worse man. And I'm saying what God is asking me to stay. Please be careful. I pray God we help you in Jesus' name. We help you in Jesus' name. In the short moment, I want to tell you, I might not be able to go deep. Because God didn't tell me to go deep. But please be careful. I beg you in the name of God, be careful. God bless you. God be with you. In Jesus' name. Please, before you go, kindly subscribe. Because it's very, very important. So that we can hear more of God's revelation. To save your own soul at this end, end time. To save your own soul at this end time. God bless you. God be with you. Bye.